hi everyone. My name is Pichuan. I am a software engineer, software engineer at Google. Um, this year, my mentee is Aubrey Wang, and she is a seventh grader at GMS. And uh, her interest is uh, game development, and uh, she's very interested in art and design as well. So this year, we uh, decided to use Unity as the, the platform and the, the way to learn programming. And I'm very impressed with her work, being able to work on Unity with like uh, the complexity of Unity, but being able to like build something interesting uh, on the Unity platform, which she's going to show you next. Hi, my name is Aubrey, and I work with Peach One, as she just said. Um, she works at Google and genomics team on Google Health, and she enjoys doing very various activities like watching videos and playing with her dog. I personally enjoy coding, editing, and drawing and creating things because I just find that fun and entertaining. Um, the project I created in Unity, it was a 3D platformer game. I chose this game because I wanted people, I wanted to create something that people would enjoy and that could last a long time. And I thought, what better than a game? I learned different things in Unity, such as the interface and other programming applications like Visual Studio and Atom. I also learned how to code with C-sharp script, edit it, and what prefabs were in other assets in Unity. After I completed this, I decided to add more levels. And in the future, I decide to maybe add something more interactive, like a plot line or more levels. Um, while I was making the project, I also did side projects like an RPG game and carding micro game just to learn or just to get used to like Unity's interface because it's very complicated with a lot of pop-ups as well as get used to Unity code because um, they mainly use C-sharp. Um, during these projects, I, I learned different things like animating in Unity, writing functions and code more efficiently as well as machine learning. Um, and finally, challenges I had were sometimes assets weren't there or Unity is a bit finicky with different versions, especially when sometimes instructions are wrong compared to what uh, the version says. And sometimes assets weren't there or stuff broke. Here you could see is the functions, which I mentioned before were how the code is written more efficiently. Um, if you see on the, I can't say the line, but like a part of the line of the repetitive code, you can see there's just the number two and that shows how far the item spawns away from the main coordinate. And this happens because we have a variable that decides how far, what the angle of the, um, of the item spawns from the center coordinate instead of writing individual coordinates like the comments. Um, here's my video. It's kind of a demo of how, how I built stuff and a playthrough of my course. In my course, I decided to make three different sections just to challenge myself. Here, as I'm zooming in, is the three or is the part where I animated different objects to make it harder to move around and just to add some more challenge to making it. Uh, I also added an area to get used to how the game worked and then an invisible maze. Here, I just use arrow keys and controls and then there's a counter at the top to tell you how stuff works. Um, here, I took away the meshes for the different items or for the different walls so that you couldn't see them but you could still walk into them and they would be tangible even though um, even though they're still there. Uh, here, challenge I had was just making sure, since I didn't move the camera because I didn't want to add code for that, uh, it was just hard designing the level so that there weren't any blocks in the way because originally like a part of the path got covered up by a previous area. Um, in Unity, I, you could see the setup here, as you can see, there's a lot of different pop-ups and um, things to click on. I decided to show you guys a couple different items because I thought that those were cool and they, they're kind of important in the basis of making uh, my game. Uh, this what I chose to show you the light block because you can change the feel of Unity. And I also decided to 
choose invisible walls because you could take off the mesh and different covers. Um, those are prefabs, prefabs, which are like duplicates of an original. And then moving the platforms, I just, Unity gives you, or it automatically moves an item from one space to another smoothly. So you just need to put the first two items or first two positions, and then it will automatically smooth it out. Um, I think that's all. Um, yeah, um, thanks for watching my video and presentation, and I hope you guys enjoyed. And it was really fun working with Peach One.